now in this video we will learn about error handling so as you can see that as of now in case of any error we are just simply throwing error object so this is not the best way of dealing with the errors so you will notice that we have created a separate folder exceptions here so we are going to work in this folder now so first of all we will create a root exception class i'll explain you what that is in a minute we'll say root.ts now uh, if as far as exceptions are concerned what you want to send so first we want to send is the message so error message and then we want to send is the status code so it is the http status code which is 404 and 401 and so on and apart from that we want to send the error codes as well now error codes are for front end to uniquely identify any exception so for example there is a localization on front end so obviously we cannot send the message error message in every language so the front end determines the error message using the error codes so that's why error codes are important so these are the things which you want to send through the error code uh, exceptions and one more thing is the error like the actual error which occurs like the validation error or something so the default error class of javascript does not provide these things out of the box so we need to override that class so for that we will say class we will create our own class which is http ex exceptions and it will extend the exception class sorry the error class of the javascript and now in this uh, we will define all these things so first is the message message will be of type string and then we have error code now i will uh, as of now we will give it a type of any like uh, we will define the error codes inside item so we will do it in a minute and apart from error code what we know what else do we need is a status code it will be of type number and apart from a status code we need errors it will be of type any because they can either be an object or the array so all these things now we will define the constructor to initialize all these things so we will get message of type string we will get sorry we will get error code of type any we will get a status code of type number and we will get error of type any so we will say this dot message is equal to sorry message we will initialize everything so error code is equal to error code here it will be this now we have a status code is equal to a status code and now finally we have errors is equal to errors so we have these things defined now what we want to do is we want to call the super method as well so the constructor of this error class only takes the message so we will say message yeah so why is it giving an error okay super must be called before this so yeah now it's fine so we have defined this http exception class now we will define the enum as well so it's an enum of error codes and here we will define few enums so first one will be user not found and let's give the error code of 1001 like it's up to you you can give any error codes and these error codes will be shared to front end as well so that they can match match and get the exact error from that sorry error code is user not found and then we have user already exist we can give it as 1002 and then we have incorrect password we can give it as 
1003 so as of now like let's work with all these three if like uh, in the future we will need more error codes so we can come here and define it at any time now since the root exception is defined now we want to create the class for each and every exception so in the exceptions first uh, what you want to do is we want to create the class for bad request so we will say bad request dot ts and in this we will say export class bad requests and this best request exception we will say and this will extend our HTTP exception I guess we have not exported that now we will say HTTP exception so this is all it is so in the constructor we will say it will get the message of type string and it will get the, get the error code as well of type error code so I guess I have went exported that as well but I have it's the error codes not okay so I guess it should work I'm not sure why it's not working yeah so error code and apart from this yeah these two things are just required and we will call the super constructor as well and inside the super first we will say message first argument is the message then we have error code I guess yeah and then we have a status so for the bad request uh, we have the status of 400 so it's the predefined status for HTTP bad request exceptions and it's just still giving an error and in the so in the errors we will simply provide null now in the HTTP exception I guess we have to change the type as well of this errors as error code and here as well error code now it's a bad request now in the controllers auth controllers where we are sending this throw error already user already exists so it's kind of a bad request or let's see how we can do this first we'll give it a try then we'll change it based on the naming convention so we will say throw we will pass new and we'll say bad request exception and in the message we will say user not found and the error code will be error code dot user sorry user already exists so user already exists now in order like the express pick this exception we have to define the error middleware as well so in the error in the middlewares we will create a file which is errors.ts and here we will export a middleware export error middleware and this error middleware will be a function which will take now the error middleware there is a special convention for express the first argument needs to be the error but in like the general middlewares we have request response and next function but here we have the error argument as the first uh, error as a first argument so we will say it is of type http exception which we just created and uh, we have request it will be toy of type request then we will have response of type response and then we will have next function yeah so that's how it's being done now inside this they will return something and we will say sorry it's an arrow function and now I guess it should work okay it's a const okay now it's fine so 
we will say response dot status and response dot status will be the error dot status code and dot json and inside the json we will say message will be error dot message error code will be of type error dot error code and actual errors will be errors so i guess that's all we need to define in the middleware now in order for express to use this middleware we will go into the index dot ts and uh, we will say app dot use we'll say error middleware so that's all what we need to do now whenever uh, any controller will throw any exception this error middleware will automatically be called by the express so that's how it works now let's give it a try uh, in the postman we will try to create a user with the same email now let's see it's giving an error okay now in order to make this work we have to do one more thing here so in the controllers we need to add this next function as well which is like used to handle the errors and for the middlewares to pass the control to the next controllers and so on so we will install this so we will like not install basically import this so and now what we'll do is we will call the next function with this error object so whenever the next function is call, like called without this error object the control is passed to the next controller if there is any because you remember like how express works is in the routes we can give as many controllers as we want and uh, these controllers are called as middlewares so that's how it works so whenever we call the next function without the error the control is passed to the next middleware or the controller but whenever the next function is called with the error object the control is directly passed to the error middleware and how express knows about it because in the index like we have given this middleware here so uh, we have asked express to use this middleware which is the error middleware and whenever the next function will be called with the error object this middleware will be called so now let's give it a try and see if it's working or not so let's see we'll say hit send now you can see that it's working fine we have the message as user already exists error code as 1002 and error we don't have any as such errors here and the status code is 400 bad request now for your assignment what you want to do is create uh, another exception with this uh, user does not exist as well as incorrect password and let me know in the discussion section and in the next lecture i will give you the solution and also in the next lecture we will give a better way of handling these things because obviously we cannot import next function in each and every controller and do this manually again and again so we will find a better way of handling the errors so see you in the next lecture